Welcome to the continuation of my video series on QGIS. In this video, I will be taking us through how to use the measure tool in QGIS to measure distance and uh, areas of polygons. So let's get started. So let's open this map that uh, we produced in a recent video uh, is the map of Nigeria showing the various states and the location of the state capitals. Now, uh, as we can see, the states are polygons and the location of each of the capital cities are points. So let's add another layer of information to this. If you look at our layer panels, you will see the road network there, NGA underscore roads. Let's add that to this map by clicking, uh, by checking the box. Yes, there it is now. We have the roads, road network for various parts of the country. Now, looking at this, it's possible sometimes uh, we want to determine the distance between one place or the other, or we want to determine the area of a polygon. So if you cast your mind to maybe a landed property, a polygon, a farm estate, or a forest plantation, whatever area you have, that's a polygon. Once you can see the area clearly on the map, you can trace the area and estimate what, uh, how many hectares they are or in kilometer, in square kilometers, as the case may be. Similarly, if you can see two, two locations and the road, for example, connecting them, you can measure the distance between those two locations following the road that separates them. So let's try and work out an example here. Now I want a small one here. This is Akure here, as we can see, the capital of Ondo State. And this is Ado Ekiti, the capital of Ekiti State. We want to look at the distance, we want to estimate the distance between these two locations. So to do that, I will use this. Of course, I can do it right from here, but then I want to use this zooming tool to expand this area a little so I can see it better. Okay, good. So here we have Akure here this dot and adequity right on this dot. So we want to follow the road that separates the two of them and estimate the distance between these two locations. Just as an example of illustrating how this is done. So you will come here to the tool, uh, to the toolbar here and there is this icon here that looks like a ruler so if you put your mouse on top you will see measure line so you can locate it that way but if you find it difficult to locate you can just hold on your press control shift and m at the same time control shift shift m that will bring up the measure tool so let's bring it up now there is a drop down button beside it, just right at the right hand side of it. Click that drop down menu to see the various options you have. So as you can see, you have measure line, so you can use this tool if you want to measure line, which will mean measure distance, and then measure area. And this, of course, area is polygon, so you can use it to measure polygon as well as measure bearing and measure angle. So these are things you can use this tool for. 
But in this particular instance, we want to use it to measure line. So whether the line is a straight line or it's not straight, you can still use this same tool. And I want to demonstrate how it is done. Let's let's see it. So click on the measure line option. Now it brings up this dialog box here. And if you this area that is the top of it here, if you press the mouse and you I mean you can drag this into any part of your map or any part of your screen where you want it to be. Because sometimes it's blocking your view and then you just want to move it out of view so that it doesn't disturb you. Now, before you start applying that tool, if you look here, you will see the unit of measurement. This is the default setting. And if you press the, uh, the done arrow button here, you will see several options. So this tool can measure distance in meters, in kilometers, in feet, in yards, in miles, and so on. Even in centimeters, in millimeters, in degrees, and in map units. So here we are selecting kilometers. So select kilometers. So we are starting from zero. <clears throat> so we are starting from zero here. And then what we'll do is we'll bring it to any of the locations. We'll click on it there. And then we'll now trace that road. And as we are tracing, we'll be clicking and clicking and clicking along, especially at in, in, in places where there are bends. We'll keep clicking all that way and trace that road all through to the end of it. That's to Akure here. So that's how we do it. So I want to do that right away. I've not clicked. That's why you are not seeing anything happening here. <clears throat> So I will click Ado here. So you click on it. Good. See, the moment I click, if you look at our box there, you will see the under segments. You will see 0, 0.000. So I'm starting at zero. So I will begin to trace that line carefully. And, you know, this is a rough work because actually, the bed to do this accurately you need to actually you know zoom in the more so that you can see the lines clearly but this is for demonstration purpose that's why i'm just doing it this way okay and then up to here the last point there yes right now current now so look at how we trace that line and it gives us the distance as 44.9 kilometers, 44.9 kilometers. So that's the distance between those two locations, Akure and Ado. So that is how to use uh, the measure tool in QGIS to measure distance between locations. Ah, but if you want to use the same tool to measure area of a polygon, uh, we'll look for a polygon here and then we'll just trace it out and see what the area is. So let me close this. Yeah. And we uh, want to look for a polygon that we can use as example here. Just something small for us to use. Okay. So here, <clears throat> we have the Fed FCT here. It's a polygon, as you can see. So we can just trace it that way, you know. So let's, let's determine the area of this polygon. <clears throat> as usual, you will select the tool again, but this time around, it is measure area that you will select, measure area. So we have selected it. So the default setting here is square meters, but we don't want square meters. We can calculate area 
in square kilometers, in square feet, square yards, square miles, in hectares, and so on. So let's use square kilometers. Of course, we can also use hectares, depending. But we select square kilometers here. So you see, our mouse pointer has turned to a plus sign. We will now click a starting point and then we'll trace this boundary all the way back to the starting point and that will calculate the area for us so let's do that right away i start from here i come all the way down here it's almost straight yeah just to demonstrate and show us how this is done you can see as i'm doing it it's already giving me areas so i'll keep doing it like that just make sure of course in real life you have to zoom in more so that you can see these lines clearly and that will give you more accurate reading but since this is demonstration we're just doing this roughly just to give you an idea on how it is done. So we trace it all the way up here. And then we get here, we come here, we go up that way. And then just follow the bend as it is, you know, just follow it the way it is exactly. Just trace it that way. Yeah, just trace the bend. And then we get here and back to our starting point. We'll click there. Yes, there we go. You can see the extent. It gives us an area of 7,361.822 square kilometers. That is the area of the polygon. So if this is a forest reserve, in the same way you can calculate the area that way. If it's a landed property or anything whatsoever that is a polygon, no matter how irregular the shape is, you can just follow the same procedure and obtain the area using QGIS. And uh, you can see that this is quicker and faster than if we are to go physically to the ground and start to measure with the ground survey crew. You know, that would take several days, several hours, several resources. But here now, you can do this in the comfort of your room or comfort of your office, as the case may be. And that's the area there. So we have looked at how to use the measure tool to measure distance as well as to measure area. I hope you have enjoyed the video. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.